At school, I think at A-level, I chose maths and physics, but I was always quite artistic as well and quite interested in the world around me and geography. And maths was actually quite a struggle at first, but I actually, I really got stuck in and really enjoyed the challenge. So going to university, I studied civil and architectural engineering. That was at the University of Bath. And that was all about trying to merge that interest in applying mathematics, but also bring in some of the stronger design flair as well. Um, that was a five-year course, and we got the opportunity to go out and work on site in the summers. So I worked on Heathrow Terminal 5 for a summer, and got to stomp around and do surveying and wear sight boots and get mucky, and work out how materials work, what people actually do in the real world. Thinking she was taking a year off after university, Angela went out to tsunami-struck Indonesia to help with the reconstruction programme but she soon found herself in charge of a major project. I spent a year basically designing and building a school for about 200 pupils out there. It was an absolutely fantastic experience. When I arrived and found out that actually I was going to be in charge of this school build, I was, I was quite shocked, but also very up for the challenge. It was very important that we, we did go back to basics and we did use the grassroots technology because that's what they have available, but it's also the best way that I could apply my knowledge rather than a technical, analytical, computer-generated model which, which wasn't appropriate in the circumstances. I feel like it was one of the best opportunities of my life. I feel really privileged that I got the opportunity to see the immediate effects that engineering can have on people's lives and to be able to bring that knowledge back and use it every day. After a series of other jobs, including time spent in Japan, Angela finally returned to the UK. These days I'm a civil and structural engineer and I work for a company called Expedition. They're basically quite an innovative structural engineering company, so they're renowned for designs such as the 2012 Olympic Velodrome, which I played a small part in, and the Infinity Footbridge in Stockton on Tees. The things that we do day to day there is liaise with architects and work with them to come up with the actual design and then we take that one step further and go on to do the actual detail of the design to make sure that it's all going to stand up and be safe and work right once it's a reality. I work for a great, fantastic practice. If you prove yourself and are interested in what you do, the sky really is the limit. Engineering isn't just one subject, it's actually it's about life and it's about merging and going out and seeing what you can do out there and knowing that you've got the techniques and tools behind you with the maths and physics understanding that you can go out and really do something and make a difference and apply it to the world.